Hi, my name is Lona Mothania Uchido and I'm making it one of my life's mission to demystify the speech therapy field and to empower more parents on what they can start to do in order to optimize their child's communication outcomes. So whether you want your child to talk more or talk better, learn better and overall optimize their potential. So stay tuned and feel free to send in any topics on speech and language development you would like to know. Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Lona Muthamia Ochido. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I'm having a fantastic morning. Um, and today I am going to debunk some myths on dyslexia. So let's just start by defining what dyslexia is. Dyslexia is um, difficulty making sustained reading progress in spite of sufficient um, reading instruction. So these are the children that are sitting in class with other children and they're the ones that are struggling with reading whereas everybody else has had the same kind of instruction and they are making really good progress. Okay, so what are the myths out there on dyslexia? There are many myths. First of all, I'm uncomfortable using the word dyslexia, the term dyslexia, because it just almost just, it just labels without really expounding on why that person or that child is struggling with reading because you there are different reasons I mean there could be different um, causes of a reading disorder so might as well just talk about what the cause is and there is a video where I talk more on uh, reading disorders and some of the things that you can do so myth number one that children with dyslexia or people with dyslexia have low IQ well not true there is actually no connection between one's intelligence and um, dyslexia. So it's also not uncommon to see people who are highly creative and, and quite good thinkers that actually have dyslexia or have a reading disorder. So people with average IQ, um, above average IQ, even highly gifted people and children can actually suffer from dyslexia or have dyslexia. And yes, whilst a child that has dyslexia might show slowness in how they read. It really has no correlation with their thinking and their creativity. Yeah, so that myth hopefully is debunked. So they have a variety of IQs, no connection whatsoever. Second myth that you have to hold a child back in class or in school uh, for them to make fast progress or to, to make to bridge the gap between where their reading skills are at and where they need they or they ought to be. Well, you could, and I know a lot of um, institutions in Kenya, that is what they tend to do. I don't know if they still do, but when I was in school, that's what used to happen for children that are not making sufficient reading progress or are slow learners or whatever it is. It doesn't really help. You know, what helps is uh, application of differentiated um, uh, kind of accommodations in instruction um, and among other you know systematic and evidence-based um, interventions and I talk about a lot of those interventions in um, one of the other videos which I'm going to link up here and one of a very uh, useful a very effective intervention for children that have a reading disorder that is as a result of um, less firmed up phonological awareness skills is the phonological awareness you know intervention so more on that video you can go and check it out but that is what is going to be the most effective in, in remediating a reading disorder um, as opposed to holding a child back or having them go through tuition so there's a video on that as well okay so myth number three that the child is lazy you know i hear teachers tell parents that I just think your child is lazy. Not true, not true. They just have a reading disorder. Um, myth number four, I think that children with dyslexia see letters and write letters backwards. Well, even children that don't, don't have a reading disorder, uh, my son who is six years is still writing nine backwards. It looks like a P. And yeah, and he doesn't have a reading disorder. So that really, there's no correlation between, not everybody that has a reading disorder will write things backwards, you know? So that just shows a weakened phonological awareness system. Okay, which 
Again, if you haven't had explicit reading instruction, that could be the reason why you're struggling with reading. Yeah. So, and for some children who are labeled as having dyslexia, really it's just that they have weak and phological awareness system that not, needs to be firmed up. And the final myth, children with dyslexia cannot learn or cannot be taught how to read. That is also not true. If you are giving them quite targeted intervention, like what I spoke about before, they can definitely learn how to read. But if they don't get that, then they just might tend to be um, slower readers and also very manual readers. So a manual reader is a reader that hasn't yet quite figured out the, the patterns um, in, um, in, in reading that will make uh, their reading become more automated, you know, like like have more automatic. Um, like if I see the word cat, I'm not going and sounding it out. It's already quite an automatic um, skill for me because I've already, I know the patterns. I have quite well established phonological awareness, and I and so that has been saved in the system. I don't need to always read words that are familiar to me. So the only probably words that I have to spend a bit of time reading are those that are unfamiliar. Yeah. So I hope that um, debunks those myths. If you have a, a child that you suspect has a reading disorder, do have them evaluated by a speech therapist that specializes in literacy. Um, I specialize in literacy and there's many videos where I talk about the different specializations for speech therapists. So not all speech therapists who specialize in, um, in, in literacy or you could have them seen by a literacy specialist. So as always, it's been a pleasure. I don't know why I lost my thought or my train of thought there. If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified whenever we publish a new video. So have a great day and catch you later.